Hey, it's Jim Hutchinson from the Fisherman Magazine, New Jersey, Delaware Bay edition. I'm here at the Greater Philadelphia Outdoor Sports Show. It is Sunday in Oaks, Pennsylvania, and again, the snow is falling, but I had to get in touch with you right now because I'm just so excited. The first striped bass of the season was just weighed in today. That's right, Absecon Bay Saltwater Sportsman, Absecon Bay, Dave Scholl had a 29.4 pound striped bass weighed in today. Nikita Grantham, congratulations. You just, just took a bunch of cash from Dave. Also with him was Louis Pabone. He had a 15-pounder. Where'd they catch it? Remember last week we were talking about that warm water? That's exactly where it was. It was up in Oyster Creek. There's other spots in New Jersey, Salem, I'm thinking. The generating stations where that warm water is, that's where those first fish are undoubtedly going to be caught. Congratulations to those two guys. It's a real good scene and a real good sign for the spring ahead. Absecon Bay said that they're selling a lot of grass shrimp as well because folks are fishing for uh, white perch. They're over at uh, Scotty's Pond, if you know where that is. Uh, some free ice, no ice, open water. They're catching some white perch up on the Mullica at Collins Cove. They're also catching them through the ice. Some guys have a nice little pocket. Uh, we haven't gotten real good reports there, but I think tight lip, you know. Uh, but the folks are out on Collins Cove. Of course, we've spent the last several days here in Oaks, Pennsylvania, talking to a lot of different people who've really had a great season on the ice at Lake Patcong and Swartzwood throughout Pennsylvania, Assunpink, uh, Stone Tavern Lake. The ice has been terrific this season, and folks have been enjoying the bite on, uh, on largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, perch, all kinds of things, but everybody's looking forward to that ice out and getting out on the open water. We had some open water fishing on the party boats last week. The Jamaica 2 got out on Wednesday, had some baseball bat sized ling. So look, if, you're, if, you're, if you want to bundle up and get out there, the action is going on. We talked to Al Crudelli this week down in uh, South Jersey. He said, Lord willing and the creek don't rise, he's going to be heading out this week looking for some uh, ling, some pollock. I think the action's really getting hot, uh, even though sometimes it's a little bit cold outside. This coming weekend, we're going to be at Rockland Community College, the Suffern Show. Big show for hunters, freshwater fishermen, saltwater fishermen. Come on out and see the Fisherman Magazine. And of course, don't forget the big event for surf casters in North Jersey, the Asbury Park Fishing Club annual surf event. Great plug manufacturers. You can find all the greatest plugs and surf equipment. Make sure you're there. Stop by and see the folks from the Fisherman Magazine. We will be there. Like I said, folks, it's on. No matter what the weather outside says, the, it is on. The striped bass are finally starting to bite. We're hoping to hear some action on the winter flounder as well. Don't forget, if you're going to head out fishing in the salt water, make sure you're registered first. It's the law, but it's also free. Go to saltwaterregistry.nj.gov. Register and get out there and wet a line. Until next week, hopefully we'll have even more reports next Monday here on The Fisherman Magazine and thefisherman.com. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to The Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.